Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Today I'd like to introduce you to the mixer view of Loopy Pro. We have recorded or gone through a number of tutorials already on how to record audio loops, and I thought um, um, it's good at this point to introduce you to the mixer view because from there then I can show you also audio uni effect and uh, audio unit synth and other instances associated to audio unit and how to include those through the mixer view. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So I have recorded a simple uh, audio loop. So one, two, three, four, one. Just a very simple one with um, just the number one, two, three, four. Now, if you click down here on the left on this symbol, you can enable the mixer view. Now, in this um, view, the mixer, which is down here, is in a maximized format, and you can minimize it. If you click um, right here on these arrows pointing down, you can minimize the mixer view, and you still have all the nice loops at the top. And this works also if you are in other views, for example, on the tracks view, like so, you can enable the mixer here as well, and you can maximize it and minimize it as well. But let's go back to our traditional looping view, like so, so we see the different loops, and we maximize the view of the mixer. So, the first thing to <clears throat> highlight is um, these uh, channel uh, strips, which correspond to your entry point here, in this case, the microphone, okay? But also your output down here on uh, the right-hand side. And then in the middle, you have for each color or each track, as you know now, a channel strip. Um, right here on the left hand side, you have this symbol here. If you click on it, you can change in decibel um, the output for that particular waveform as well. You can click again on the symbol to exit that. And you have a selection of effects here, which are pre-fader in terms of the volume or post fader and it's very simple you click on the plus and sign and then you can choose from a selection of built-in effects but also your audio unit effects as well and you can do the same for post fader which is really nice and i will do an in-depth tutorials on effects as uh, um, there's not only the ability to add effects but also to share instances of effects here you have um, the destination, so you click on it. This is where you can select which tracks or which track or colors you want that input to go to and or to receive input from that channel strip. You can select them individually, like so, and you see the changes straight away down here. Or you can set them to none or to all. And additionally, you can set your output channel as well. And this is very much uh, um, dependent also on your uh, hardware configuration. Next, we have a send button, and this allows you to create a new bus, which in this case is created up here. And I will show you in a dedicated tutorial how to use buses as well. And um, if you want to get rid of it, just click at the very top where it says A, click and hold, and then select Delete. And you can do the same also for uh, uh, the other channels. So you click and hold and you can delete uh, a colors down to even deleting your hardware input, which in this case is a microphone, but you cannot do that for your output in this case because there is only an output, which is, in my case, the iPad um, um, output. We have also a um, here a fader for the volume, a balancing dial, a balance dial for a left and right channel. You can mute and also you can solo um, each individual channel strips. So you can apply those to each colors, which will help you to do your management, of course. If you want, as I mentioned earlier on, to get rid of a channel strip, click on hold at the top, select the date. In this case, I lost the microphone input. If I want to reinsert it, there is a button here which says plus, click on the plus sign. This is where you can add a color, a hardware input, an audio unit, also a MIDI, and a bus directory. Let's add a hardware input, which in this case, it will say my external microphone, which is connected via USB. I select that and it will appear here. 
And remember, it might come on with monetary already on, so you might have to change the settings. Additionally, you can um, click on the color and you have your uh, um, settings, uh, your standard settings for volume, balance, pitch, speed. But you have also related settings, which we started to have a look in previous tutorials. For example, setting about playback, recording, but also additional settings, which we haven't covered yet, like gesture, follow on actions. And if you like, so you can change also the color up there. Okay, so just for simplicity, we have this loop here. So one, two, three, four. Let's try to apply a, for example, an internal reverb effect. One, two, three, four. So as you can see, it is very straightforward to use the audio mixer. And as you can see, I have added an effect and it gives you now the ability to add additional effects. But as I mentioned earlier on, I will do a full tutorials on effect. So, okay, this is just a, a short introduction on how to use the mixer. In the next video, I will show you how you can add an audio unit synth. And then we go also on uh, adding uh, um, MIDI sources as well. And you will see that uh, that enables uh, a new ways of recording, not only from the microphone, but also from audio units, which uh, is exciting as well. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye.